Welcome to this third and this last of these midweek Advent devotions. If you miss the other two, you can find them on our YouTube channel. We've been considering the theme of families. Now families come in all different sizes. In the past, families traditionally were much larger than they are today. Over these past decades, families in the United States and in the Western world have become smaller. In fact, according to the census, the average family size in the United States right now is 3.14. Advent brings to us the good news that we are family. God has made us to be a part of his family. We consider that in our first devotion. Because of the advent of Jesus, we are immediate family. We are brothers and sisters in, in Christ, in the household of our Heavenly Father. We consider that in our second devotion. And now thirdly, because of the advent of Jesus Christ, we are a part of a large family. Just consider the Christmas story for a moment. On that holy night when Jesus was born, the angels came to the shepherds and announced the good news that a Savior had been born. Now the shepherds, they were the peasants. They were Israelites, but they were lower on the social status. They were common workers. They were not the elite of society. But it was these people that God welcomed to come and see the Christ child and to be a part of his family. As the Christmas story continues, however, you know that there were magi from the east that came as well. Now these were Gentiles, non-Israelites. The Israelites would have looked down upon them as outcasts. But in Gentile society, these were the elites. They were well-educated, well-traveled. Some would even consider them royalty. They were important. And again, God welcomed these outsiders, these Gentiles, to be a part of his family. But it doesn't stop there. For the family of God is very large. I'd like to read a passage for you from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. And here the Apostle John receives a glimpse, a vision of heaven, and it says this. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. Can you picture such a heavenly multitude? Such a large number that no one could count? Can you picture yourself in the midst of that crowd? The good news is that because of the advent of Jesus, you will be there. It is through faith in our Lord that you will be allowed to be a part of this large heavenly family. Now, you belong there regardless of your standing in this world, whether you are considered peasant or royalty in this world or somewhere there in between. God welcomed the shepherds, the peasants of society. He also welcomed the magi, the outsiders, but the elite of society. He welcomes all of us, regardless of our social standing, regardless of our economic standing, regardless of our race or our nationality or ethnic background or our gender. God welcomes us all. For all who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they are a part of this large family. And what a blessing it truly is. This holds true for all who believe in Jesus. For some myself included, God first arrived, God first advented in my life when I was baptized as a little baby, as he called me and adopted me to faith. For others, the advent of Christ takes place a little later in life, as God comes to them through his word and through people and draws them to himself. 
But either way, Advent happens. God arrives in our life and he makes us a part of his family. He died for our sins so that we might be forgiven. He rose from the dead so that we might live. And we are a part of this large heavenly family of his. Now there are advantages to being a part of a large family. You've got lots of brothers and sisters looking out for you sometimes. Older ones, younger ones, people of different personalities, skill sets, vocations. They're all having a connection to you in every part and every season of your life. There's a sense of belonging, and they can be there to help and support you along the way. What does it mean for you to be a part of a large family, the family of God? It certainly can affect your relationships with one another, how you view people, not just those in your immediate household, but all believers. We're family. There's a sense of belonging, and there's many of us. We can be there to help and serve one another. We all have different personalities and skill sets and experiences, but yet we can be there for one another and with one another in every circumstance of life. There's a great blessing in all of that. We forgive one another. We even tolerate one another at times. We are a family after all. But how might you live it out in your week? What does it mean for you to be a part of such a large family? What is your role in such a family? How can you express this kind of Christian love toward one another as well? In this world, indeed, families come in all different sizes. But the advent of Jesus makes us all a part of a very large family. What does it mean for you? How might you live it out this week and this year? Give it some thought. Give it some prayer. And dear brothers and sisters in Christ, have a blessed Advent season.